You guys, I'm so excited. I can't help it. I'm like, I'm channeling. Once I'm channeling, I'm tapped in. I just get so excited. And sometimes I go at light speed and I just process the highest and purest and greatest of things. And I just had the greatest connection to source and I just wanted to share that with you so much. And I just wanted you to be so happy. And at the same time, I can feel your energy of you being so sad. And sometimes I just wanted to share that with people too because I just wanted them to understand. Not that I necessarily wanted them to go through what you were going through. At the same time, I guess that everybody had their time and everybody had their prize and everybody had their situation and their choice and their their contracts, the contracts that we reiterate into every single fucking life. I love to curse. And that's why, though, the same thing continues. We can't stop cursing one another. And you people won't recognize. You people won't wake up. You guys won't recognize what's going on. I feel like I can't even say what's going on. I feel like I'm going to get popped straight up. Straight up. And I always knew. Some part of me just always knew that's what's going to happen. And maybe it looks like I shot my brains out. Or maybe it looks like I got some kind of infection or there's all kinds of different things you guys just don't really understand the the power of energetic waves or the power of the mind or the power of herbs and forces you just don't understand the powers that actually exist here on earth or exactly what the fuck is going on you don't recognize you just discredit you're just fucking mindless mindless smoking weed mindless shooting shit up in your arm just fucking cutting and self-destructing and drinking and just not knowing what you're processing and sometimes just choosing choosing constantly addicted to that fucking clashing pattern going against the grind of what's the greatest thing for your soul almost like you were addicted to that thing of that fucking spend it puts you out of control okay and sometimes i get it it's addicting it's a high i just love being inside the vortex of my own mind and my own demise it was, it was fucking, it was a high. It's that Shiva energy of being able to fucking completely destroy and rebuild, but at the same time, the power to kill into the power to create. But at the same time, didn't you understand they were trying to take away all of our love? They didn't want us to love each other. They didn't want us to love us because Edward Bernays taught us that we learn, or should we say we are better controlled when we are in fear and anxiety and depression, that we are more likely to do whatever someone says when we are fucking desperate. And yes, there are chemicals, psychiatric pills that we can put inside our motherfucking bodies that will change our chemical composition, that will change our influence. It's the same thing if you put turmeric, onions, lettuce, all the things that you hate. Did you know the things that you fucking hate are actually the things that you needed the most? The smells you couldn't stand was because you needed those things more than anything. It was forcing you into a position of change that made you uncomfortable. But only there did you ever become something new that you weren't before. And this video probably won't last long, so please go ahead and tap in and share and do whatever the fuck you need to do that you think that would share this message for multiple generations. But at the same time, we're not burning books anymore. We're deleting videos. We're erasing people's words. It's been the same shit for generations. The game of fucking telephone, you guys. Telephone. Don't you know the game? Have you ever played? I tell you one thing, and you tell it to the next guy, and you whisper it to the next guy, and the next guy, and the next guy, and it goes around in the circle till it comes back to me. By the time it comes back to me, 90% chance. Perhaps my statistics, they will change on the variance of multiple different variables, where you are, who's there, who's thinking what, who they experience what, etc. who thinks this, who thinks that, who, who wants to share this, who wants to play around, who wants to lie, who does this, who does that, all that good stuff. It changes everything, okay? So what I'm angling at is in the game of telephone, things change, right? We're getting off soon. We're getting off in a mile. I'm going to get over. Um, man, something just, just sent me over the deep end, man. So t telephone, like, it's, that's the way I vision a lot of, like, religions, basically. It's like we play this game of telephone, and it's like, oh, no, my brother Joseph did this. It's man's way. We are trying to interpret a language that has been passed down for generations. What our words mean now mean different things. The alphabet, each letter actually means different things. I is the star Here's level. The right o, right I think, is moon, exits, or maybe it's you. I know you can't hear me because of the GPS, but all this stuff is really important. I'll go through all this stuff. I'll teach you everything I fucking know. But this knowledge is sacred, and we're not supposed to know because it's powerful. It's called spelling, the power of your words. Abracadabra is a veda cavedra, or something like that. <laughs> I could share with you so much, and just some of it is pointless. That's why most people. That's why most people close down and they just shut up because it's like nobody's listening. Nobody cares. Nobody cares is what people are saying, and yeah, I just keep wanting to talk about this freaking thing. Take exit 24 to merge onto I-595 toward Port Everglades. In some ways, it's my own fault. 
putting on this GPS. She's talking over me, you guys. But at the same time, I didn't know where I was going, so I kind of felt obligated. I'm going somewhere. I don't know where I'm going. <sighs> but at the same time, I want to... I almost want to turn her off. But at the same time, I do need to pay attention, but she's interfering. <sighs> so therefore, I'm struggling to tap into that energy. Maybe if I listen to this again, I can tap there again. But I'm starting to get rather depleted, to be honest, because I just shared with you so much of this essence, and I'm not getting anything back. I'm not getting anything back. That's why nobody's sharing, because people are like, what for? There has to be equal energetic exchange. And in some ways, it is. Like, maybe I held the door for you, and you just smiled or whatever. And then maybe, yeah, you held it for somebody else, so it passed on a different way. Maybe you didn't do something for me, but you did it for somebody else. But sometimes people didn't do anything. And sometimes you thought that that was okay, or you thought that it was okay that you weren't saying anything, but maybe that was the problem, that you weren't saying anything because you added your own creation, you had your own frequency. People needed to hear your voice. They needed to see your artwork, your existence. Use the right lane to take exit 24 to merge onto I-595 toward Port Everglades. It wasn't meaningless. Yo, you guys, I hate the Everglades. I mean, I don't hate the Everglades. I actually love the Everglades. I hate this port because I was arrested over here, you guys. Did you know it's on my record that I was arrested? for having possession of marijuana, and that's on my record forever. And I've been humiliated by the mermaid the community because of it. And it's actually a really funny story connected to the Port of the Everglades, why that happened. Use the right two lanes to keep right to merge onto I-595 East toward Port Everglades. All right. uh, where am I going, you guys? Where am I going? Here we go. Man, my fingers are getting tingly, you guys. So much different things I'm releasing, so many different pressure points. It's like the same feeling as bloodletting right now. I'm receiving and I'm uh, I'm sending out. I feel it. Everything I send out comes back to me tenfold. It's the same thing with you and everybody else. It's just the, the form of physics. And yes, crystals change. Sometimes I feel like I had to take certain crystals off. Like right now, I definitely feel like I gotta take off my amber. I feel like I gotta take off my bracelets and stuff. I feel like I'm going back to my roots right now too, you guys. I'm, I'm meeting up with our childhood friend. I'm probably gonna record some of my experiences with this kid. In 1.8 miles, take exit 12 beyond to US 1 North toward Fort Lauderdale. This is actually my legit best friend. It's funny, he's a Taurus. And DTS was a Taurus. <sighs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. He's on the cusp. He's on the cusp, so he has that grounding feel and that front, man. But he's actually a Gemini, I'm pretty sure, actually. My my twin, I'm Pisces, he's Gemini. I don't remember where Sirius said we're going. So, uh, 